Hey what's up guys we're back with what if Naruto was raised by Itachi. Enjoy. Chapter 1. Prologue. A hero, a villain and a boy Naruto was scared senseless. He had just ducked behind a dumpster next to the police station after just barely escaping from another mob, the second one today, and his little, malnourished, eight-year-old body just couldn't keep up with the strain of running. It also didn't help that he hadn't had anything to eat in almost two days. Hey, over here. I found him. Shouted a medium height, black-haired Chunin. Grab him and let's go. If we do it in our district, we can just say he's trespassing and kill him legally. Stated a tall, older man with the same black hair. Uchiha District Itachi had just finished killing off the South District. He couldn't believe that he was going to go from village hero to the most hater man since Orochimaru overnight. But he knew it was for the good of Konoha, and the more Uchiha managed to kill, the least likely the chance for rebellion. His orders had been to kill off every man woman and child that had been or was a ninja, but he could feel another presence killing the rest of them. He could care less, the only Uchiha Itachi could stand was his brother Sasuke, his mother, his best friend, whom he had killed as per request to protect Konoha, and his long-dead babysitter, Obito, who he remembered from when he was three, or maybe even four. So lost in thought, Itachi didn't even realize he had finished off the West and East District as well. Now, he stood before his home, the last home, with what should be the last two surviving members of his clan he was planning to kill. He walked into his home, only to find his mother already dead. A kanai still lodged in her throat, she was holding a small blonde boy in her arms, a boy he knew too well. His father and other surviving members of the clan standing around her. Fugaku-sama, you did the right thing in killing the demon lover. Now let's kill the Kayubi brat and then we can take over the village. Stated an older member of the police force. I'm afraid I cannot allow this. Stated Itachi as he made himself known. It's over, I've killed every last Uchiha and I'm not going to let you harm Naruto-kun anymore. Itachi. What is the meaning of tea? The older Uchiha was cut off by having his head literally cut off. Before Fugaku's decapitated head hit the floor, the rest of the Uchiha were dead as well. All slain by the clearly pissed off Itachi. This was when he'd finally heard Naruto, sobbing into the chest of the dead Uchiha matriarch. Miss. Miss. Why did you protect me? cried Naruto. He had been dragged into the district by the other Uchiha, and then all of the sudden he was swept up in a hug and being taken away by the lady. He heard her yelling at them about, harming Kashina and Minato's child, but that only seemed to piss them off more. Before he knew it, she fell to the ground and started gurgling. Naruto-kun, Naruto spun around to see red eyes watching him like a hawk. Though unlike the other red eyes, these held no malice, only kindness and Respect. W. Weasel. Is that you? What's going on? Questioned Naruto. The voice the red-eyed teen spoke with was the same as the nice Anbu who always helped him and sometimes even feed him. Yes, it's me. Call me Itachi, but we must leave here. Come with me, we must go see Sandame sama Konoha Water Reservoir, Weasel. Serutobi started, please, run that by me again. I was almost done with my mission when I came across Naruto-kun in my home. It seems that Fugaku and some others were planning to kill him, but my mother protected him. I believe it was my father who killed her. After I killed the rest of the Uchiha, I brought Naruto-kun here. I am unsure if all the Uchiha are dead, but the only one I know to be alive is my brother. Answered Itachi. Serutobi nodded. Itachi had basically completed the mission, but Serutobi couldn't decide what to do with Naruto. He couldn't just let him continue to get beaten and maybe even killed, especially now that Itachi was gone. Itachi, we will no longer be following the plan. This shocked Itachi greatly, then what are we to do sir? You and Sasuke are the only members left of the Uchiha. He was at the academy and you were sent on an extended mission outside of Konoha yesterday. Started Serutobi, Itachi nodded. My Anbu found one dead ninja not of Uchiha origins. After examining the man, we found him to be from Root, which was disassembled years ago. This will clear your name and help me with a little problem I've been having. What of Naruto? Asked Itachi as he motioned to the young boy, passed out next to Itachi, Kayubi Chakra healing his wounds. He, Serutobi motioned to Naruto, is your mission. He has been attacked three times this last week and they seem to be getting worse. 
He is no longer safe in this village. You will take him with you, let him see there is more to life than running from mobs. Train him to be great, as you know, his potential is limitless. I want him back here by the time your brother graduates from the academy. If he is not at at least mid Chunin by the time you return him, I will mark you as a missing nin. This shocked Itachi. Sir, do you really believe he can be mid Chunin inside of four years? I understand he has Jonin level reserves, and that his mother and father wear Yandaimi Sama and Kashina Sensei, but still, it took me almost five years to get to join. Questioned Itachi. Use shadow clones. Serutobi smiled, Itachi's eyes widened. Serutobi the reached into his robes and pulled out storage scroll. That hold enough money for you to live about six months, two with Naruto with you. I will be in contact with you for a couple of months, he'll send you Minato's scrolls in exactly one year. It is up to him if you learn anything from them. After that, the only contact between you and me will be a report you send every three months. Goodbye Itachi, and good luck to you both. It was going to be an interesting four years for the unlikely duo. Next day, somewhere in fire country Naruto slowly stirred awake. He had been trapped in some weird dream where he was walking aimlessly through what seemed to be a sewer. Good, you're awake. There is much I need to tell you. Stated Itachi, looking over to the blonde while still facing a fire. Itachi. Where are we? What's going on? Questioned Naruto as he took in his surroundings. He was in a small clearing in a wooded area, but that's all he could tell. Naruto-kun. I'm sorry to tell you this, but we have been all but banned from Konoha. Four years for you and I don't know how many for me. During your years away from the village, I will be teaching you. You will be a strong shinobi, strong enough to support your heritage, and eventually, to surpass both your parents. Stated Itachi with a kind smile. My parents. You know my parents. Who were they? Questioned Naruto. His happy face suddenly turned to despair. Did they hate me like everyone else? No Naruto, they love you very much, in fact, their last wish was for you to be seen as a hero for the burden you were forced to bear. Answered Itachi. Who are my parents? And what burden do I bear? Questioned the 8 year old. The burden you bear, is that you are the container for the Kaiubi no Kitsune, one of the nine tailed beast. He was sealed in you by your mother and father. The fourth Hokage and the Red Death. Minato Namikaze and my old sensei and godmother, Kashina Uzumaki Namikaze. Chapter 1. Blowout in Konoha Four years later a tall blonde in a dark orange muscle shirt and black ninja pants approached the main gate of Konoha. The figure moved with a very imposing, almost demonic swagger, that moved with such nimble and calculated movements that he could easily be confused for a fox. At almost 5, 9 and 175 pounds of pure muscle, he was easily the biggest of his age to probably ever go through Konoha. His black pants tapered off into his dark red sandals that had flame markings across the top of his arch. On his upper arms were several tattoos that in fact were storage and resistance seals. He wore Anbu-style combat gloves, with metal plates on the hand that had a nine-tailed fox engraved on the back. The man had shoulder-length blonde hair that tied off into a ponytail in the back, bluish-green painted fingernails, six whisker marks on his face. And deep blue eyes with metallic black rings expanding out from his pupil, though they were covered up by a pair of dark red reach-around sport sunglasses just picture a dark red pair of Oakleys. The man was Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze. He had left Itachi not even three hours ago. Hmm, going to different without Itachi and the others, he had met several very cool people in their travels. He knew he could take care of himself, hell, he was above Itachi's level when he used the Kyubi chakra. He was up to four tails without any negative effects, after all, demonic chakra can't harm you when you're part demon, which happened about a year and a half ago. He had known of the Kyubi the first day away from Konoha, as well as learning about his mother and father. But it wasn't until after he and Itachi had run across two missing nin that Naruto turned part demon. He had been fatally wounded by a stab wound to the heart and the only way to survive was for Kaiubi to basically replace his heart with a demon heart made of its chakra mixed with what was left of his heart. Ever since then he was slowly getting more powerful. He had figured in about six months he could challenge for the position of Hokage, but it would be a waste of his life, so he would hold off on that for right now. Man, it sucks all have to be a genin. When I could probably give the old man a run for his money. Oh well, from what Itachi Ni told me, I won't have to wait long to be a janin. 
As he neared the gates he began to remember his life before he had left with Itachi. To sum it up, it sucked. Contrary to what most believed, he had friends back then. After he was kicked out of the orphanage at the age of five, he had made friends with the homeless people that lived in the red light district. Even after he got his apartment he would visit them every other day or so. That was until the Uchiha had killed two of the parents in the small group after they tried to defend Naruto. How Naruto hated the Uchiha. If it wasn't for Itachi doing it before he could, it would have been Naruto who would have killed them all, well, except Itachi and Makoto. Naruto had learned the woman that tried had saved him all those years ago was actually Itachi's mom, and Naruto's mother's best friend. In memory of her giving her life to save him, both he and Itachi had gotten a tattoo of her name, Naruto on his right shoulder along with his father's and mother's name, Itachi on his left along with Shisui. Then there was Sasuke, Itachi's actual little brother and apparently the only survivor outside of Itachi. Itachi had asked him to look after Sasuke and make sure he followed the right path. They had heard from one of Jiraiya's informants that Danzo had been more or less publicly blamed for the slaughter of the Uchiha, and had been set to be executed, only for him to escape the day before. The latest they heard of him, he had joined a group of missing nin, though that was about it. Halt, who goes there? Naruto was taken out of his thoughts by the two Chunin gate guards, he was surprised to see they were Izumo and Kotetsu, two of the people that had always been nice to him in his younger years, though they had probably forgotten about him by now. Hell, he barely recognized himself. After a huge growth spurt thanks to a good diet and becoming part demon, he looked like a mix of himself and his father. Though his new eyes always throws of his looks. Ha, you guys actually have to say it like that. Couldn't you just ask like a normal person? Like, hey, who are you and what are you here for? I think that might work better. Oh, and I'm Naruto Namikaze by the way. Stated Naruto as he continued to walk forward, never even stopping to sign in or even look at the chunin. Don't worry, I'm going to Gigi's anyway, if you want you can call the Anbu, but it would be a waste of their time. Azumo. Is that really him? Asked Katetsu. I, I don't know. He disappeared right after the Uchiha incident, I always thought he was killed that night too. Outside the Hokage Tower, huh? I haven't used a door in four years. Screw it I'll use the window. Stated Naruto, and with speed most Jonin would kill for, he was up the side of the tower and through the window. Serutobi was having a slow day. Today was the day that Naruto was supposed to be back, but after all the shit the boy went through in the village before he left with Itachi, he wouldn't be surprised if the young blonde didn't come back at all. After all you've suffered, will you come back? Serutobi asked himself, which was why he was surprised when he got an answer from behind him. Don't really have a choice now. Smiled Naruto as he watched Serutobi spin around too fast that he could swear he heard the old man's neck crack. Who are you and how the hell did you get in here? Questioned Serutobi, though he was slowly recognizing the figure that had somehow gotten behind him. Blonde shoulder length hair, deep blue eyes, whiskers. Naruto. The one and only. What's new old man, you look a lot older than before. Questioned Naruto, I'm fine my boy. Rapid aging is just one thing you have to worry about when you lead a village. How was your time away? Asked Serutobi. Could you send the Anbu out? I have some things I'd like to stay between us. Questioned Naruto seriously. Serutobi nodded and gave the signal to leave, only for Naruto to frown. You sent them all out, right Gigi? Serutobi gave a questioning look. Yes, they're all gone. Naruto nodded, then in a flash of movement, Naruto was in the corner next to the door, a huge black sword in his right hand with the blunt edge of the giant sword pinning a man to the wall. Who the hell are you and what are you doing in Hokage-sama's office, questioned Naruto. I I'm Ennu. I do NT Noah all the signals yet. Choked out the Anbu. Naruto turned his gaze to Serutobi, who only nodded. Duck. You really should learn all the signals. Now please leave, I have sensitive information that must be discussed in private. Stated Serutobi. Right away, sir, yelled Duck as he shunshined away. Well, now that that is settled, just how strong are you? And where did you manage to gain that blade? Asked Serutobi, well, Itachi said I was low chunin level in genjutsu, mid jonin in taijutsu, high jonin to low cage and ninjutsu because of my ridiculous chakra reserves, I'm what equals a chunin in swordsmanship and I'm pretty good with seals, both making and breaking them down. 
Um that's about it for skills, if I were to put myself at a level I'd say low to mid Janan. As for the sword, I got it off a fellow swordsman I killed. Answered Naruto with a smile. But my main skill is pure chakra element and shape manipulation, like the Rasengan. Sarutobi's jaw was on the floor. He knew he had threatened Itachi, but for him to get Naruto this far, was just unbelievable. Plus the fact that Naruto had one of the seven swordsmen of the mist's blades, and a splash sword at that, was outrageous. Naruto. I have a gift for all the work you've done. Not so much a gift as something you've earned. Sarutobi walked over to a seemingly blank patch of wall and flew through about 50 hand seals before a 2x2 two two foot portion of the wall glowed blue and disappeared. Sarutobi emptied the small cubby hole and resealed it. He then walked back to his desk and set the contents down on the table. Naruto, this is your inheritance. A deed to your home, the wealth of the Namikaze clan and from what I can tell, the Uzumaki clan as well. It wasn't supposed to be given to you until you reached the rank Junin, but I made an exception, seeing as you are clearly at that level. But try not to flaunt it. You still have enemies here and I would rather not have a pile of dead bodies on your front lawn. No problem old man. And Itachi already filled me in on the whole team selection thing, so don't worry about me showing off, as I'm going to try to be the dead last of the class so I get teammates that I won't have to carry through missions. Admitted Naruto sheepishly. If you were anyone else I wouldn't allow this, but you're correct in thinking that you will have to carry your team, so I'll have Aruka sabotage your results to make you the dead last. But thankfully, for you anyways, you weren't here for the last four years. You would literally have to score 150% to be anything but dead last. Stated Sarutobi as he handed Naruto a note. Academy room 105, hand that note to Aruka and he will do the rest. I'll see you soon for your ninja registration. Five minutes later, all right class, as you all know, today is the genin test. It will comprise of a ridden, a taijutsu, a ninjutsu and a target portion. Stated Aruka. Just then a man appeared next to him, scaring the crap out of him. Aruka Yumino. Holy shit, this class must be full of talent for a hunter nin to be the teacher, asked Naruto. Naruto. Long time no see. Finally going to become a genin, asked Aruka, they had met when Aruka had been assigned to tracking down Aoi after he made the younger Morino steal the second's priced lightning sword. Yay, but it sucks that I have to do this crap. Anyway, old man gave me this for you, said something about, your girlfriend having a mission, stated Naruto as he handed Aruka the slip of paper. Aruka read the paper, then looked to Naruto, then the note. Alright, go find a seat. Naruto nodded, then appeared next to Kiba and took the seat. Alright, first portion is a written exam. Son of a bitch. 45 minutes and one large, head-shaped dent on the table in front of Naruto later. Okay class, now for the accuracy portion, Shino Abarame. Okay Sasuke, you're up. Sasuke smirked, he had decided long ago to show off. After all, he was an Uchiha, and with only two of them left, he needed to prove his worth. For a second he wondered just where his older brother was. He was told that his brother was sent on a long-term mission, but he didn't know how long it would take for him to get back. Sasuke sent that thought to the back of his mind and launched all 10 kanai in one hand and all 10 shuriken in the other. 19 out of 20. Well done Sasuke, as far as I know, only Itachi, Kakashi Hitaki and Yandaimi Sama have done better. Stated Uruka. Sasuke slightly frowned at this, he loved his brother, but he didn't like being compared to him. Next up, Naruto. Stated Uruka. What's up with that kid? Does he have a last name? Sakura asked Ino, not bothering to quiet her voice. If you knew my last name, your head might explode. Especially from what your parents told you about me. Especially you Uchiha. Stated Naruto, spitting out the name Uchiha as he walked not towards the start line, but the target. Hey Dobi. You trying to get a higher score by moving closer. That's cheating you know. Stated Sasuke, his horde of fangirls cheering on his. Coolness. Three things Uchiha. 1. I'm not a dobi. In fact, I'm probably better than any sensei any of us get paired with. 2. There is no such thing as cheating when you're a ninja. You take every advantage you can, including making your enemy emotional, poisoning before the fight, the list goes on. And 3. Naruto turned the target dummy around 180 degrees. I'm not cheating, I'm making it way harder. 
You see, these academy games you play mean nothing to me. Who cares if you can hit a non-moving target while standing still? In the ninja world, you will never get the chance. Your opponent will be moving, and if you stop to throw, you're dead. Naruto throws all 10 throwing stars at once, aiming them about 10 feet over the dummy's head. Ha! All talk and no game. You missed completely, laughed out, Kiba, Bansho Tenen, whispered Naruto as all the shuriken reversed direction and embedded into the target. What was that? Something about me being an idiot. You wanna explain how that works? You cheated. No way you could do better than Sasuke-kun, called some nameless fangirl. Dumbass, there is no cheating. You think your opponent is going to give two shits about, cheating. He's not, the truth is that 9 times out of 10, the one that, cheats, the most will win. Thinking that having a moral code is going to make you better than someone will get you killed. Stated Naruto with malice in his voice. Iruka sensei He's lying, yelled another delusional fangirl. Who gives a fuck if I lie? I'm a ninja. We lie, cheat, steal and kill. That's what we do. Stated Naruto. He then turned to Ruka. What the hell has the council done to the school? If this is how all the classes are they're going to have a higher mortality rate than Kiri. What does that mean? Questioned Sakura. Lord you people are sheltered. Taijutsu. And finally, Sasuke Uchiha vs Naruto. Prepare to lose Dobi. Only an Uchiha can beat an Uchiha. Bragged Sasuke. Yay, except the Senju, Uzumaki, most of Iwa and Root. Stated Naruto, gaining a gasp from everyone besides Naruto, I'm going to kill you Dobi, yelled Sasuke as he charged the blonde-haired fox. It was over in an instant. Sasuke had barely taken two steps before Naruto planted him into the ground face first. Uchiha is just a name. A name that has been dragged through the mud by traitors. Check your ego, you're not all powerful. Even Itachi has weaknesses, you just have to find them. Stated Naruto as he removed himself and started walking away. For all tense and purposes, he's dead, I won. Great fireball jutsu. Stupid son of a wait, can't say that one. Thought Naruto as he turned around and absorbed the chakra from the jutsu using one of his eyes abilities. Fuck, I've already used it twice today. H how is that even possible? Ninjutsu test. Okay Naruto, seeing as this is more of a formality than anything, stated Uruka, Naruto just shrugged and grinned. Give us a clone, a henge and a replacement. In an instant, Uruka and Mizuki were staring at. Uruka and Mizuki. Sitting behind the desk was two Narutos. Both henged as the teachers. There you go. I made a clone, replaced both of you with me and him and henged into you both. Good lord, stated Uruka, remembering when Itachi had done something similar during their exam. What do you expect? I'm a ninja. This is child's play to me. My Junin instructor better be either Kakashi or Asuma, otherwise I won't have anything to learn. Laughed Naruto, Uruka sweat dropped and Mizuki got a dangerous glint in his eyes. Ten minutes later, outside Naruto was sitting in a tree over the academy courtyard. He had nothing to do until team assignment tomorrow and he had used his mass shadow clone training the week before, so he still had a week before he could do that again, unless he wanted to fry his brain. He thought about visiting Itachi, but dismissed that as Itachi had said he had another mission to do. Then there was Jiraiya, he was in the next town over, running his spy network from a safe house until the Chunin exams. Naruto was taken out of his thoughts by Mizuki as he landed next to the blonde. You know Naruto, even though you got a perfect score, you're still going to be the dead last. Stated Mizuki. Good, then I'll get a good team that I won't have to carry. Stated Naruto, that's a good way to think of it. Anyways, I was wondering where you learned shadow clones from, questioned Mizuki. A good ninja never tells his secrets, but I'll tell you on one condition. And what would that be? Asked Mizuki in a cheery tone. Why is it you're marked by Orochimaru, and why is it you're trying to get the scroll of sealing so bad? A hey, screw it. Inside of a quarter of a second, Mizuki was tied up and Naruto threw him over the courtyard towards Serutobi, who was standing next to Ruka. What the? Started Serutobi, he's a traitor. He's marked and he's been in contact with Orochimaru in the past week. He smells like snakes and he just tried to convince me to steal the scroll of sealing. Answered Naruto from the tree, he then appeared in front of Uruka. What are you talking about demon? Questioned an older version of Sakura. 
you know I know have the right to kill you for revealing an S-class secret. Right, stated Naruto as the older Sakura paled. Well old man, she lives this time, but warn all the other idiots that I will not hesitated to kill them if they break the law. Also, go ahead and tell them that I won't be teaching anyone anything and if those two idiot teammates of yours try to pull anything, I'll cripple Konoha. Three hours later, council room, hum, a council call. Something big must have happened. Stated Hiyashi, indeed, Naruto Uzumaki has returned. Stated some random civilian, is that the reason for this? Who cares if the kid is back? Other than him scoring a perfect score in the academy exam, who cares? Asked Shikaku. He threatened Konoha, screeched the older Haruno, I doubt that, and even if he did it's all talk. Stated Hiyashi. It was no secret that he hated Naruto, but the only stronger than hate is arrogance, which Huoiga were born with. No, I did threaten Konoha, but like usual, you members of the council only know half the story and none of the facts. Stated Naruto, who had appeared at Sarutobi's side. How would you plan on doing so? You a fresh genin, an amazing genin, but still a genin. Stated Inoichi, he didn't hate the boy, he was neutral, like he was to everyone he didn't know. While you're right about me being a genin, that is just my rank, not my skill. As for crippling Konoha, Naruto looked to Sarutobi, who only nodded, though on the inside he was smirking. My true name is Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze. Son of Minato Namikaze and Kashina Uzumaki. My mother was adopted by Mito Uzumaki, making me the heir clan head of the Senju. I am the clan head of the Uzumaki and seeing as the Namikaze are the biggest merchant family in the land of fire, if anything is to happen to me, I will leave, and take everything with me, the money, the land rights to most of the village and of course, every bit of Uzumaki that is in this village. That means the patch the ninja wear and the swirl in the leaf symbol. Stated Naruto as he handed out the copies of all the paper that proved everything he just stated. But Tsunade is the older Senju, so you are not the head of the Senju. Stated Hiyashi, being he was the first one to get over the shock of all this happening. Tsunade left the village 10 years ago, and hasn't taken a single mission in any of those 10 years. Meaning the second I complete any mission, I become the clan head of all three of those clans. Stated Naruto. Then you're subject to the clan restoration act, no, I'm not. You see, that act is optional, and I'm already engaged to a beautiful woman, so you lose again. Anything else you want to get off your chest? Asked Naruto. What do you plan to do with all your inheritance? Asked Hiyashi, none of your business, it's mine and I'll do with it what I want with it. And if you think you can take it away from me, you're dead wrong, literally, seeing as I'm the son of a cage, and soon to be head of three of the five most powerful clans in Konoha, I have more leverage than any of you bar the Hokage and maybe Hiyashi-sama. Also, seeing that I now own a good chunk of the land and most of the business in Konoha, I hold a civilian council seat. Stated Naruto, an uproar started until, surprisingly, Homura spoke up. Quite. Namikaze is correct. He now holds a large portion of the council's power. State Homura, however, as he is not of at least Chunin status, he must either choose someone who is of such status as his go-between. Naruto smirked, it was finally time for all that political bullshit he learned to come through. I will give all my votes to whoever the current Hokage is, and should the hat be passed all votes will return to me until I either pick a new candidate or I gain the rank Chunin. Anything else? No one spoke. Good. See you after team assignments Gigi, stated Naruto as he walked towards the doors. Oh, and if my heritage is made public, I will know it was someone in this room, and I won't hesitate to either kill you all, or make you wish you were never born. He stated in a tone so cold and with so much killing intent that the water on the table actually froze, and with that, he left the room. You civilian fucks better not mess this up. Threatened soon. I'm not sure even they could fuck this one up. Naruto and by extension Hokage-sama hold more than half the cards. Chapter 2. Meet the team. Team 7 will be. Sakura Haruno, Sasuke Uchiha and Naruto. Your sensei will be Kakashi Hitaki. How the hell is she the kunoichi of the year? Questioned Naruto under his breath, yet still loud enough for almost everyone to hear him. What was that? Was that an insult? At least I know my last name Baka. You probably don't even have a family, shouted Sakura, oh how wrong she was. Oh really? What is it then? 
Because most people have the last name of their father, yet you have your mother's. Could it be that you never met your dad because your mom didn't know which one was your dad? Questioned Naruto, which drew a gasp from the class. Naruto. That was uncalled for, shouted Aruka, though on the inside he was snickering at the pure truth of the joke. Why? Because it's true. She insulted my parents, so I returned fire. If she can't keep her head in a classroom, how do you expect her to do in a battle? Questioned Naruto, Uruka couldn't find a reasonable response to that, it was good logic. You take that back Baka. Take it back or I will kill you, threatened Sakura in a dangerous voice, no one insulted her but Ino, and they were somewhat friends. If you want me to take it back, then make me. Stated Naruto, silently preparing a replacement. Sakura gave a battle cry and charged, she threw a punch at the blonde's head. Too bad for her, Naruto was a master of the replacement jutsu, and she ended up punching Sasuke in the face. This is going to be a long couple of months. Hokage's office, well, I hope Naruto doesn't kill his teammates, stated the old cage. Like he could. Laughed Kakashi, Sasuke is the rookie of the year. I still don't know how Naruto scored so high, but I doubt it was skill. Hell, I you don't want him, I'd be glad to take him. Stated Asuma, he may have thought it was way too easy to pass the test, but to score perfect on all but the classroom knowledge portion was no fluke. Nah, he'll make a good balance for Sasuke, plus even if he is as good as those scores say, which I'm sure he's not, Sasuke is still stronger, and he will keep getting stronger. Are you saying that you're using one student to make another student better? Questioned Kuranai, disbelief in her voice. It's not like I'll hold him back, I'd love for all my ninja to get stronger. If he's stronger then it will help the team, but he'll never be stronger than Sasuke. After all, Sasuke and I are a lot alike. Stated Kakashi, nose still buried in his book. Unbelievable, classroom, Naruto-san, I was wondering where you got those sunglasses, as they look like they function better than the ones I have. Stated Shino, getting a startled look from most of the class, minus Sasuke and Sakura, who were too busy glaring at the blonde. I make them, it's a hobby I have, I have a pair that goes with any outfit I wear. Tell you what, you seem like a cool guy, plus we can relate, seeing as we are the same in at least one aspect. Stated Naruto as he pulled out a scroll and unrolled it. What color are you looking for? Hmm, do you have a white or cream frame and dark lenses? Yep, stated Naruto as he unsealed a pair of glasses near the middle if the scroll and handed them to Shino. When you channel chakra to them, the lens cuts down glare and they stick to your head, like an anbu mask. Thank you very much Naruto-san, I shall remember this, stated Shino, only Uruka and Naruto knew how big it was for an Abarame to, oh, anyone anything. Team 8. Follow me please. Team 10, come on. I shall see you soon, Naruto-san, and thank you again. Nodded Shino Naruto nodded and made a clone. Then, without warning, left. Hokage's office Sarutobi was still sitting behind his desk, pondering the Naruto situation, from what Kakashi had said, he wasn't going to weaken the boy, but he wasn't going to help him either. Had it been anyone other than Naruto, he would have put a stop to that, but seeing as Naruto was at least high chunin in skill, he decided he would wait and see just how Kakashi was going to train them. Sarutobi was bought out of his musings when Naruto flashed into his office, literally. Hey old man, wanna go get some ramen? Asked Naruto, I do need a break, muse the aged cage, I'll go, on one condition, you pay. Deal. Ichiraku ramen Naruto was already on his fifth bowl, Sandame was starting his second and Ayame was stealing glances at the blonde every so often. Although she wouldn't admit it, she was attracted to the blonde now, hell, if his name wasn't Naruto Uzumaki, he would probably have the attention of most of the female population. So old man, how did the Haruno get Kunoichi of the year? I can tell that she's at most the third best female in the class, the Yamanaka will end up as an average chunin and if Hinata can get some confidence, she'll be Jonin in no time. Asked Naruto, going over every bit of information that Itachi had drilled into his head involving clans and fangirls. Truthfully, the civilians have tweaked and distorted everything they can get a hold of in the power vacuum that appeared when Minato and Kashina died and Tsunade left. Stated Sarutobi, a tear threading to leave his eye. But thanks to you, now I can. We can start to fix this village. You know I'd have to at least be a chunin for that to happen, right old man? Smirked Naruto, 
Nice try my boy, I may have been born at night, but not last night. Smiled the old man, you still need to pass the Chunin exam to get promoted, unless you get a field promotion on AB rank or up mission. I thought they eliminated that exception at the end of the Third Great War, questioned Naruto. Oh, they did, but I'm going to bring it back, after all, there's plenty of Chunin that have what it takes to be a Junin but just don't have the time to take the exam. Plus I want you to be a Chunin as soon as possible, I'm going to need your help to set the village straight before I hand over the reins and retire. Stated Sarutobi. Finally going to give me the hat old man. Joked Naruto, hum, perhaps. Three hours later Sasuke and Sakura were sitting bored in the classroom. The Naruto clone had left a while ago, or so they thought. In reality, he was napping in the space between the ceiling and the next floor and they were now stewing in their own boredom. Team 7. I'm your sensei, Kakashi Hitaki. Asked Kakashi as he poked his head through the door, only to see two, not three, people. Where's your third member? Asked Kakashi. He got tired of waiting for you and went to get something to eat. Said a somewhat distorted voice behind Kakashi, shocking him greatly, as he hadn't sensed anything behind him. He spun around and saw. Nothing. Behind you. Kakashi spun around again, but once again saw nothing. Kakashi sensei. Are you alright? Asked Sakura. Hmm, seems that we have a prankster on our hands. Anyway, my first impression is. I am not that impressed. Meet me on the roof in five minutes. All of you. What did he mean by that? On the roof, so you know the shadow clone trick too, huh? Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Said a familiar voice next to Kakashi on his blind side, once again he was shocked at this sudden invoice. He turned his head so fast that he suffered from whiplash. That's getting annoying. Must be guy messing with me, stated Kakashi, after all, only guy was faster than his normal eye. No. Just the past catching up to you. Stated the same mysterious voice, though now it was much more clear. It was Minato Sensei. Sensei. Kakashi uttered in a harsh whisper. You always were the genius of the group, though you never did notice the most important things till it was too late, just like you're going to pass over the diamond in the rough for the polished granite. What do you mean Sensei? Questioned Kakashi, now looking at the ghost-like figure of his sensei and second father, staring into his one coal colored with the same cold and brutally honest blue eyes as he always had when he was reprimanded by his sensei. The answer is looking you in the face, and yet you are still blind to the truth. Hopefully his eye can open yours, hopefully he didn't die for nothing. Slowly, his sensei faded away, though as he faded another came to view, they had the same blonde hair, same style of clothing, although this one had short sleeves and several tattoos, though what threw the transition of the most was the sunglasses and whisker marks. You alright? You look like you just saw a ghost? Asked Naruto, although he already knew what Kakashi thought he saw. After all, it was his genjutsu. One of the great many things he picked up from Itachi was a knack for incredibly realistic genjutsu. That combined with his world-class chakra control, which was needed for his ninjutsu style, and you got one very convincing genjutsu. You have no idea, though if you would please, my I see your eyes, asked Kakashi, no, was Naruto's answer, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Stated Kakashi, unfortunately, this was the same time that Sasuke and Sakura made it to the roof. Naruto noticed them right away, and using his prankster ways and horrifyingly ingenious mind, he went for the kill. No way pervert. Why would you even ask that? This confirmed, in Sasuke and Sakura's mind at least, that their first assumption was correct. Is that why you were late? Were you spying on little boys? Questioned Naruto. Kakashi's brain lagged a little bit, wondering why wanting to see someone's eyes was perverted, then he realized the way he had asked sounded rather creepy and immediately sputtering out what they were really talking about, while Naruto was laughing so hard he thought his sides were about to blow out. Well, now that that's cleared up, why don't we introduce ourselves, things you likes, dislikes, dreams, talents and skills. Oh and don't forget your name. You first Pinky. Stated Kakashi, usually he would ask the usual Team 7 greeting, though he needed to have an idea of Naruto's skills, especially after what he just saw. Shouldn't you or Naruto go first sensei? Me and Sasuke have already met each other. Stated Sakura, ever the little miss obvious, come all right. My name's Kakashi Hitaki, my likes and dislikes are none of your business, my dream is. Well you're a little young to hear that. 
I have a talent for annoying people, showing up with impeccable timing, and never taking my mask off. My skills are anything lightning chakra, my dog summons and my awesome hair. Stated Kakashi with an eye smile. My hair is way better. Stated Naruto, alright then, you can go next. Stated Kakashi, a little edge in his hair, after all, only Minato sensei ever insulted his hair. Hum na, the Uchiha or Haruno can go next. After all, I'm the odd one out here. Stated Naruto, wanting to learn more about Itachi's foolish little brother. HMPH, I'll go. Stated Sasuke, Sakura in awe of his, coolness. My name is Sasuke Uchiha, I don't really like anything other than training, I dislike almost everything else, my talents are anything ninja related, my skills involve throwing weapons, fire jutsu, taijutsu and I'm working on genjutsu. And I have no dream, it will become reality, I am going to restore my clan, and I'm going to find my brother and we're going to kill a certain someone. So he wants to kill Danzo huh? Wonder if he knows all the facts behind that night. Thought Naruto, better start training, Danzo has a whole army, plus he's an S-class criminal. HMPH, he's no Uchiha, I'll kill him and restore my clan. Stated Sasuke as if it had already come to pass. Why is it that every Uchiha is either batshit, a genius, an avenger or an asshole, wondered Kakashi Naruto just rolled his eyes. Itachi Nisan, if you could see your brother now, what would you say? And why do you think he'll be any better than your prick if a father? Okay. Now you pinky. Sakura glared at him for the pinky comment. My name is Sakura Haruno. I like, she glanced at Sasuke and giggled, making all three men shudder at once, each remembering a past run-in with a fangirl. I dislike Ino Pig and Naruto Baka. My dream is to, another look at Sasuke and another collective shudder. My talents are anything academic and I guess my skills. Well Mizuki Sensei said I had really good chakra control. That just leaves you blondie, alright. My name is Naruto, you haven't earned the right to know my last name. What I like, I guess you'll just have to figure that out on your own. I dislike rapists, traitors, fangirls, all of Iwa and 90% of the Uchiha clan. My dreams, to be Hokage, to surpass a couple of people, both dead and alive, to eat every flavor of ramen and to find a beautiful girl or five to settle down with. Stated Naruto, a dumb grin on his face as he remembered a certain busty woman he was already planning to marry. Why don't you like the Uchiha clan? Because they're your betters, questioned Sasuke smugly. No, I willingly admit that the Uchiha have had some incredible shinobi, Madara, Shisui, Itachi. No, the reason I hate the Uchiha, is because they're a clan of thieves, traitors and murderers. Stated Naruto, hate and malice rolling off him in droves. Lies. The Uchiha are noble and great. Countered Sasuke, how could this idiot insult his betters? The Sharingan copies others' hard work, both Madara and another clan head have headed revolts against Konoha, and the Uchiha clan is the only clan I know of that tried to kill an eight-year-old orphan boy just for being alive. Stated Naruto, his tone, anger and killer intent raising. Leer. The Uchiha would never kill an innocent. Yes they would, I know because I was that boy, yelled Naruto, getting a gasp out of all on the roof. You're lying. My family would never do something like that. Shouted Sasuke, standing and confronting Naruto, who also stood up and stood within inches of him, Naruto towering over the young Uchiha. But that's just it Sasuke. It was your family that did it. It was your father who tried to kill me several times. So much so that I needed Anbu to watch over me. So much so that your mother had to stop him on multiple occasions. Shouted Naruto as he pulled up his sleeve to show the tattoo of Mitoko's name. You're lying. My father would never do something like that, shouted Sasuke. Ask Kakashi or Itachi, they were the Anbu assigned to me. Well, until Itachi got another mission, but then again, I didn't need to be protected after that, because two days after Itachi left, Danzo had your family killed. Stated Naruto, a smirk on his face, showing that he enjoyed that fact. Sasuke turned towards Kakashi, only for him to speak before he could ask. Sasuke, it's all true. Myself, Itachi and several others were assigned to Naruto from the day he was born till the massacre. Your father lead many attempts to kill Naruto, in fact, I was supposed to arrest him and several of the men that assisted him in hurting multiple children, including helping Akumo ninja try to kill off the Hyuga clan, though that was never proven. 
Why you're lying? This time it was Sakura who had spoken up. There's no way Sasuke's family would do that. My mom even told me so. She said that I should marry Sasuke because he was the best of the best. Ever think it was because your mom wanted to be part of a powerful family? While the Haruno family is pretty big, it's by no means rich, maybe she wanted more power. Though I could be wrong. Probably am. But she does know my heritage, and I'd say that when she suddenly tells you at any time to pursue me. Well, it just means I'm right. Stated Naruto, before getting up, when do we meet tomorrow and when? Training ground 7, at 7 o'clock. Got it. Said Naruto lazily, before disappearing in a flash of orange. That was. No, it can't be. Sandame Sama better fill me in fast. Raged Kakashi before leaving the rooftop in a swirl of leaves. Sakura went from brimming with rage to lusting after Sasuke in absolutely nothing flat. Sasuke-kun, would you want to? No, Hokage's office Kakashi appeared in the Hokage's office with a look of pure rage on his face, only to see Naruto sitting in front of the sanding, a shogi board between them. He really is a good teacher isn't he? Even Minato couldn't come up with anything like this, especially on the fly as you are. Are you sure you're not part Nara? Questioned Sarutobi, the blonde was incredible, every time he even got close to cornering him, he would make one or two seemingly horrible moves, then the fourth, fifth and even sixth would have him cornered and he would have to fight back. Nah, bet I could beat most of them though, probably not Shikaku or his kid though, they're special even for Naras. Stated Naruto, eyes never leaving the board, every move Sarutobi would make, Naruto would make a move almost immediately, showing he was 100 steps ahead easily. What can we help you with Kakashi? Tell me how you can use the jutsu. Only Minato sensei could use it, let alone modify it. Stated Kakashi. This kid could only know the jutsu if he broke into the mansion, which was impossible, or the old man gave it to him. What? Still don't recognize me. I thought you were a genius, though you always did miss the most important things. Stated Naruto. Kakashi looked shocked. Hell, he was shocked. That's exactly what Minato sensei said. Naruto, let me see your eyes. Wah. They don't match his, or my mother's. They're nothing alike actually, and just one of my eyes is more valuable than all the Sharingan ever, minus the EMS, stated Naruto, getting a shocked look from Kakashi. After all, the only eye more valuable that the Sharingan was. The. Rinnegan, cried out Kakashi, only for Naruto to look towards Kakashi, pull his glasses down and wink at Kakashi, showing the ripples in his eye in a metallic blue color. You tell anyone, I kill them and you, we have an understanding. Also, you're not my sensei, old man told me your plan, it's disputable, especially for the, star student, of the great Yandaimi. Stated Naruto with disgust in his voice. Besides, there's nothing you can teach me. My genjutsu and ninjutsu are better than yours and though my taijutsu may not be as good as yours, I can hold my own with most lojanin. And I already know fuenjutsu, as you know, seeing as I can use hiroshin, both with a seal and without. Hey, even if you are sensei and kushina's son, and you have the rinnegan, that doesn't mean you're stronger than me, after all, I was an anbu captain, and I'm the strongest janin in konoha. Gloated Kakashi. 1. Just because you have strong parents doesn't mean you're strong, you know that. 2. The Rinnegan alone makes me stronger than you. 3. Even without my eyes I can beat you, you think being an Anbu captain means anything to me. That was 3 years ago, and if you really want to go by that, stated Naruto as he raised his hand and effortlessly made a Rasengan, then phased out the normal chakra with wind, then with lightning, then the Rasengan became blood red. Do that, then I'll consider you good enough to teach me, but in the meantime, I could use a sparring partner. Kakashi was shocked, this. Kid. He completed the Rasengan. He made a lightning variant. That alone put his chakra capacity and control at near cage level. Oh only if Kakashi knew the truth. I win again old man. Son of a bitch. Haruno household, hey mom, I'm home. Called out Sakura. Hey sweetie. How was team assignments? Who was on your team? asked the elder Haruno. It was. Not good. I'm with Sasuke-kun, which is good, her mom smiled, but we got stuck with an asshole named Naruto, who was spewing lies about Sasuke's family, the elder Haruno hated that boy, but what the boy said was probably true. 
Sakura, it pains me to say, this, but you need to be nice to that boy, he has a very connected family, and he could probably tear the whole village apart economically if he is treated badly. Stated the older Haruno, gritting her teeth as she said it. But how? He's a clueless idiot, he won't even tell us his last name. Stated Sakura, wincing as she remembered his comment about her mother. Trust me Sakura, he's not an idiot, he's not a nameless, clanless orphan, and from the rumors I've heard, he's probably as strong as most chunin. Hidden cave, river country, seem my spy network is better. Other than Kabuto, all your idiots keep getting caught. Stated a short, hunchbacked man. Shut it Sasori. He alone is better than all of your spies, and unlike yours, he's willing, and a damn fine shinobi to boot. Stated Orochimaru. I cannot deny that. By the way, what do you think of Danzo? You never did tell me, even after all these years. I have a working relationship with him. He's very intelligent, and it helps he let me experiment on him, and gave my these beautiful eyes. Hopefully you guys liked it, and don't forget to subscribe, see you in the next one.